Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing my Boxy Charm unboxing. This is for January. Whoops. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know there is gonna be a giveaway at the end of this box because as always, there is one or two things that I don't actually need or want or like. So um, I have two items from my box that's gonna be in the giveaway. Plus I grabbed a few more items from my giveaway box that I have over here and threw it into the giveaway as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I got in this month's box and what I have for the giveaway, then just keep watching. All right guys, so I have my little flyer pamphlet thingy that I got this month to go over everything. So this theme for the month is Fresh Start. So the first thing that I got in here is from Pharmacy. I believe this was my choice item, I think. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it is their Deep Sweep 2% DHA Pore Cleaning Toner. So I did use this today. I mean, obviously I can't give you a review on it now since I've only used it once, but first impression, I mean, it was okay. It took an arm and a leg to get some stuff out of here. It came with this little clasp thingy on it. Um, but it took me like a good minute to get anything out of the bottle and to put it onto the cotton round that I use. And it's a nice like glass bottle, but the card says it's an alcohol-free 2% VHA toner that gently, gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores and controls oil without overstripping skin ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin and I do have combination more oily skin so this should be good for me I don't think this brand is Hiram approved I'm not 100% sure but obviously I'm still going to use it up that retails for $28 so the next thing that we got in here is from Ciate London it is their velvet eyeshadow palette it comes in this really pretty unicarton and it is $30 so this is actually one of the items that I'm going to be putting in the giveaway, which is kind of shocking because it is an absolutely beautiful eyeshadow palette. Like that is so incredibly pretty and I'm not going to touch it or anything, but the formula is supposed to be like really, really smooth, hence the name Velvet. So it's really pretty. So this is going to be in the giveaway and next we have from Pure, and it's their 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. And this is $35. It says it's a multi-purpose, all-in-one, broad spectrum, spectrum sunscreen, moisturizer, primer, and foundation with SPF 20 that's part of an effortless beauty routine for an ultra-natural looking complexion. Okay, so don't get me wrong, look, I love lightweight, natural looking stuff but this did not give me enough coverage that i needed i'm actually i'm wearing it today but i put on um my maybelline foundation over it just because it was not enough foundation coverage for me i will pop up a little comparison of like one side with it and one side without it but it just was not enough for me and i honestly think it was a little too light if they had another shade that was darker then i think i would have preferred that more that's the thing about getting complexion stuff in subscription boxes it's not always going to match you because even if they let you pick what you want sometimes it's limited like they don't have all the shades so not a huge fan of this um 35 dollars if i didn't say that earlier next we have from where is it Bali balm i've never heard of this before it's a sweet orange and coconut lip balm so this retails for 33 dollars which is kind of ridiculous for a lip balm like that's pretty expensive it says essential oils of sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency sweet orange is packed with vitamin c which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft supple lips so i am keeping this i have this on today but i have a lip oil on over it it smells really good i'm not a huge coconut person but i definitely smell the coconut in there and it's 
it's not bad but I can smell like the orange too like it makes it makes a really interesting smell I would never think to pair those two together but it is nice it's not too thick and it's not too thin so I do like the feel of this and I'm looking forward to continuing to use it and then the last thing in here which is also going to be going into the giveaway is from what's it from Seraphine Botanicals is what it's called. Never heard of that before. It's Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. So it says it boosts hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with shea butter, apricot, plus jojoba, and rosehip oils that work synergistically to keep lips chap free, soothed, and plumped all at once. It's made with green apple and pineapple extracts to help rid lips of unsightly dead skin cells and fine lines. This retails for $25. So this is going to be the other item that I'm going to be putting in the giveaway box just because I have a lip mask that I'm currently working on using up that I've had for a while so I don't need to add another one because it would just slow me down on the other one. So the palette and the lip mask are both going to be going in the giveaway. I think my favorite item in here is going to be either this lip balm or this. I mean I'm going to have to try them out more to know but like the packaging on this is really nice. So let's get into the giveaway. I'll put the total of the box on the screen. I think it was $150. But so let me get into the rest of the giveaway box right here. I just threw a few random things in here because I wanted to do a little more than two things. But I'm going to be putting in this sponge by Makeup Eraser. It comes with like a little thingy to put it in to put it in like the washer. So you got this sponge. And then I have a NYX makeup brush here. I have a ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade BFF2. And then I have this Farsali Mini Rose Gold Elixir Beauty Oil. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six items for you guys in this giveaway. Um, so to enter the giveaway, first of all, subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video and leave a comment down below leave like your Instagram handle your email that way I can contact you so I will leave this video up for a week so it depends on whatever day I'm posting this which I think I'll be posting it on Monday the 18th so that following Monday I will announce the winner how I announce the winner is on my Instagram channel or Instagram page so if you're not following me on Instagram you should check it out there. It's just at Mary Petrushko. I will, of course, contact you directly first, and then I will post it on my Instagram. So, I mean, I have a lot of people always comment on my YouTube channel, ask me when I'm announcing and who it was. You can always check out my Instagram for that info. But yeah, guys, that is everything I have for you today in this BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, it was kind of just like a meh box. I was kind of hoping the first box of the year would be super awesome. But honestly, I think I was a little bit disappointed. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.